What's up guys, welcome to Dude and Iron. You're trying to buy your first dirt bike? Good. This video, I have a couple tips for you. So stick around. You've been thinking to buy a dirt bike. So what are you waiting for? Go and get one. You're gonna love it. Dirt bikes are amazing. If you are that kind of guy, like I am, you buy a dirt bike, you jump on it, and you're gonna love it from the day one. Riding dirt bike will make you a better person. And you know, throughout the week, uh, there are all these worries and troubles and work you have to do. Either you are in a school or at work, and you have family, you have kids, or maybe you are single still, but there's, there's a lot of things that piles up throughout the week. And if you can go on this one day or two days on the weekend and clear your head, ride a dirt bike and just be free, don't think about anything, just enjoy that feeling and then come back home with a clear head, you can be better father, better husband, but the sun, you can just become a better person. Many of you ask me uh, what bike to buy through emails or Facebook or even in the comments. <sighs> 252 stroke, uh, I think uh, that's something that uh, I would say for the little advanced riders. If you are just starting, maybe 252 stroke is too much for the beginning. Bike is very snappy, it can go really fast, it has the power band that hits, so most likely I, I wouldn't start on 252 stroke. But at the same time, I would skip those TTRs 125, 225, DRZ 125, and uh, CRF 150, those small displacement four strokes. But if you are, uh, let's say, 16 and older, and you are like 130 and up pounds, then uh, get 250 four stroke. That bike offers everything you need and way more than actually you can use as a beginner. But at the same time, it's user friendly. It allows you to grow into the bike. Like you don't, don't go crazy on a throttle and uh, you can manage the bike. It's very linear, the power button is very linear. You can manage it well. It, there is nothing to surprise you. I mean, you can get used to that kind of power band, that kind of pull very quickly. And also it allows you to learn many things. Like if you have something that is too snappy, something that is too fast, then you are a little bit uh, intimidated by that thing. You're a little bit scared, so you will be uh, very easy on throttle and you wouldn't be using potential of a bike. And also 450s are heavier and are more difficult to ride. So definitely stay away from the big bikes in the beginning and also stay away from very small bikes. Start somewhere in the middle if you are already in that age and you know that weight and that skill. Definitely be uh, honest to yourself. Don't uh, buy a bike by, with your ego, but buy them with abilities you have. If you are just starting, just get 250. You know, if you give me 250 today, I can keep up with all the guys on 450s. I wouldn't be ashamed or anything to ride 250. Like, uh, honestly, I don't think I have the ability to ride 450 to its full potential, but I still have one because I just want to have it. But uh, 250 would also give me everything I need on a track and on a trail. Well, I wouldn't recommend to buy a new dirt bike. If you are just starting, uh, I don't think there is a necessity to go and buy a brand new dirt bike unless you're really rich and you don't really care about it. And, oh, okay, go for it. But the used, good used dirt bike will give you everything you need to start. You know, I started riding dirt bike with $1,000 and I had so much fun. I learned everything I needed on that dirt bike and I only spent $1,000. And that helped me to build the base and then I could go from there and buy more expensive dirt bikes and better dirt bikes. But I learned all that basic spending only $1,000. Maybe a couple thousand dollars is all you need to start riding a dirt bike. Just buy the bike for 1,000, 2,000, or maybe a little bit more. Buy your gear, you can go buy used gear, and uh, you can be riding with $1,500, you can be out there on the trails or on a track. When I got my first used dirt bike, after I sold it, I actually made like $200, and I had it for like two years. So you're not really losing value if you buy a used dirt bike. Once you buy a new dirt bike, the, you know, the, the moment you buy the bike, you lost like 10% of its value. And in the first year, I think you lose like a 20, 30%. So if you want to resell, you are losing like two, $3,000 in two years. That, that's quite a lot of money. So used bike will give you all you need for your beginnings, will allow you to learn, and then once you get really good, uh, make your decision. You wanna spend 10,000 for a new dirt bike? Go for it. You buy it, you know you're gonna stay with that bike for some time, so go for it. All right, that's about it for today. If you guys like it, give me the like, uh, you know, the drill, and uh, don't forget, as always, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.